Well, it's been a few years now. Four. For you? New yes. Home? New yeah. home? Um, yeah. How do you look back now on the, on the, on the last uh, regular uh, cranberry album? Wake up and smell the coffee. It's, it's been five or six years now. Yeah. It's been a long ago for you, in your memory? Um, not much. It was a very good tour. And it was a really positive experience and stuff as far as touring went. Um, it was a nice, easy paced time. So, so, five years. When did you start writing for this album? This I album? don't really remember when exactly, but it was sometime probably in the first year of that. Yeah, probably, you know, when I left the Cranberries, probably uh, maybe eight months after that. And do you still recall the first song you, you wrote? Yeah, oh, there's one on it that I wrote actually when I was uh, before. I had it for ages. It's the apple of my eye. I've had that song for a very long time. How long? Mm, I'd say maybe f six years, maybe seven years. Seven years. And how come? How come you 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 didn't use it before? It just never happened. Right. Yeah, it's like having uh, lots of different colors of paint or paint brushes, and there's some you just put them to the side, and then. Oh, maybe I'd pick this up again. Yeah. So it wasn't really finished or anything. It was just like, but um, the first song on this one that really um sticks out and that really kind of um I remember a lot was the Black Widow. Because know? it was written about your mother-in-law. Mother-in-law and yeah. about cancer and stuff like that. So it's probably the first time I've ever written like a dark song as well. You know, but it's a very dark issue. You know, so. It was a very sad time, you know, and um, I don't think I ever realised how terrible it was until I saw it happening. You don't really realise it, you know. And there's a lot of it in the world, a lot of people get it and stuff. Yeah. And it's sad that there's like not a cure, you know, so. And was it hard to write a song? No. Or was it comforting for you? It's like, a, yeah, it's like therapy kind of, yeah, it's comforting. It's. It's a hobby, you know, and stuff that, you know, you just express your emotions and stuff. And um, what does your uh, husband think of it? He likes it. He yeah. thinks it's a nice song, yeah. And was it, um, well, did she, I mean, your mother-in-law, did she ever get a chance to listen to it or was it written afterwards? I, I played it, I played it for her, but she couldn't talk at the time. So. It was really hard to... Uh, no, she was just, she was dying, so she couldn't talk anymore. No, but I mean, it was hard for you to let her listen to the song. Uh, <clears throat> no, I played, I played Letting Go as well, and I told her I wrote it for her, and that I loved her. And there was another song, uh, Stay With Me, about cancer or dead, I think. Yeah. Or really hard times for you. It was, yeah, well, no, it wasn't all dark, though, because Ordinary Day yeah. is about my new baby, so I had yeah. a new baby, too. And my dad is fine now. He's got yeah, the yeah. all clear, so that's yeah. really good. But, I mean, it is kind of weird, because as you get older, you do encounter more difficult things, you know, health and, and illnesses and stuff like that, you know. So, you know, I suppose it's reflected in a couple of songs, a couple of dark moments, but, you know, you always have to... Um, I think it makes you appreciate the brightness more then, you know. And I think there are also some, some songs are about um, looking back, memories. Yeah. Know. The song, of, for example, uh, when, we, when We Were Young. Yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of nostalgic and it's kind of pining for childhood, you know, yeah. in a way. That, you know, you're just kind of going, oh yeah. When you're young, it's like you don't have to deal with um, all those things, you know. Like that, when you get older, you have to deal with, like your loved ones getting sick and stuff like that, you know. And, it, and is, it, is it for you because, well, you have three children yourself? I have four kids. Four kids, sorry, four yeah. kids. Um, does it, well, I think it alters your uh, view on life. Um, it does, yeah. yeah. And yeah. is it for you, uh, well, the songwriting, is it now more for you, can you, because this is your first solo album, is it for you now easier to become more personal or...? Um. No, not really, but I mean, the, the subject matter is more personal because yeah. I was at home for four years, so I wasn't on tour and I wasn't in a band and there was no pressure, so it was very much like just human experience, you know.